Mm. Are there any words? Hi everyone and welcome to my kitchen. Today we are making carnitas. I've made this recipe in the past, but today we're using an instant pot with a few different changes because as we continue to grow, we have to evolve. That's just life. These are super tender and are going to melt in your mouth. All right, let's start <laughs> with the oranges. We need half a cup of the orange juice, which is about two large oranges. Juice is done, set it aside, and I'm gonna keep two halves for later on. The other two, you can throw them away. In a blender cup, add in half of a medium white onion, and this is roughly diced. One and a half teaspoons of Mexican dry oregano, half a teaspoon of black peppercorns, half a teaspoon of dry thyme, four whole cloves, two tablespoons of kosher salt. This is gonna season our entire dish. The orange juice we squeezed. Look at that, even a little bit of pulp. All good. Now do half a cup of water and blend until this is completely smooth and broken down. It is done and we can see those little specks of black peppercorn. Set it aside, we'll use it later. Carnitas literally means little meat and it's made with pork. So I have five pounds of pork shoulder bust and butt roast, which has the bone in and three pounds of pork belly with the skin on. So let's start with the roast and simply cut them into big chunks. You may have to cut around that bone because we are gonna use it. That's a big piece of little meat. I know, right? Carnitas originated in my beautiful state of Michoacán, so this really makes me proud. So that makes me wonder, are there any recipes that originated from the same place you are from, the kind that just makes you proud? Write it down in the comments, I would love to know. Transfer all of the meat. We have pupusas. Oh yes, Nelson over there. El Salvador, pupusas are yummy. All right, so there's still meat on the bone and that is fine because this is gonna cook in there and that meat is gonna fall right off. For the pork belly, we're simply going to remove the skin part of it. Just do the best that you can. Cut the skin into large squares. And do the same thing with the remainder of the pork belly. It is time for the instant pot. I finally got myself one and let me just say I'm loving it. This is an eight quart, which allows me to make a big batch of carnitas and then I can freeze them. So whenever I get that craving, we have them on hand. All right, set your instant pot on high saute mode. I'll set it to 15 minutes. We can add more time later on if needed. Go ahead and start it. Once done preheating, pour in a couple of tablespoons of avocado oil and brown each side of the meat, starting with the pork shoulder. Don't overcrowd the pot. Be patient and do it in batches. It's worth taking the time to enhance those flavors. When done, transfer into a large dish Give that bone some love as well. By the way, I'm using a screen splatter for this step. I'll leave you that link in the description area. Up next, and also our final batch, the pork belly. Just so you know, we are not browning the pork skin. On your last batch, move the pork belly to the side, press cancel, and add all of the browned pieces back into the pot and also the pork skin. Pour in the salted blended mixture, Add half a cup of water to the blender, swirl it, and pour into the pot. Now add in a whole head of garlic, three bay leaves, and the two halves of the orange we set aside earlier. Cover, secure the lid, and cook on high pressure for 40 minutes with a 10 minute natural pressure release. After the natural pressure release is done, quick release the remaining pressure. Alrighty, this is good to go. I'm gonna cancel it and Let's see how this looks. Oh yes, it is so tender, look at that. I'll remove the orange peel because they're in the way. And just remove 
all of the meat, the pork belly, and transfer it onto a sheet pan. At this point, I'm not gonna break it apart because it's gonna go into the broil and I don't want it to dry out. So we're gonna try to keep them as whole as possible. All right, place it in the oven. Make sure you wear oven mitts because that sheet pan can get really hot. Set the broiler to high and leave them in there for about five to 10 minutes. Allow them to brown and crisp up a bit. Be careful if you hear the occasional grease popping, it may happen. Turn off the broiler as soon as the carnitas look ready and then carefully remove the sheet pan from the oven. They look just like the ones I enjoyed growing up. Shred them apart and make them into tacos. Yes, these are corn tortillas. You can use homemade or store-bought. Add chopped onion and cilantro and pour in a marvelous Mexican salsa. The link to this recipe will be in the description area together with the corn tortilla one. Finally, a squeeze of lime juice works like magic. All right, let's taste everybody. These carnitas don't have any patience. <laughs> Neither do I. I know me either. Come on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. I remember my grandfather used to have animals all the like pigs, goats, horses. We didn't need the horses, but <laughs> I was about to ask. I don't know. But whenever he made carnitas, I mean, we would make tacos just with the skin. I mean, it was just incredible. That's why I have to include them whenever I make carnitas at home. The flavor that comes from that render fat and also that braising liquid that we made adds just enough flavor, but it does, it does not overpower it. Great balance. Hmm. I'm trying to balance my cheek right now. <laughs> You're gonna make me choke. <laughs> I really hope you try this at home. Remember that you can follow me on all of my social media platforms. You can find the full printable recipe on viacocina.com. And also don't forget to like this video. All right, until the next one, bye.